you were saying that it's men have it easier to get who was saying that easier for, it's easier for men to get laid yeah i think i did say that does anyone agree with that easier for men to get laid as compared to women i think that's i just don't, a, that, i mean i, I feel like you if you say that been. that's kind of saying that women are easy like that statement in itself is implying that women are easy so i mean i know i know guys answer, who have please. a roster <laughs> that, well, have put girls on rotation high yeah, value i mean i mean I don't really like to put value Jeez. or high or low on somebody just based on like their sexual preferences and things like that. But I think that it's kind of an equal playing field. Um, and also I think that equal. Well, yeah, I mean, In men, set, men set this. So we're talking about like men and women. OK, they're different if we're going to go there. Right. So if you guys are saying that men are setting the standard of what women should adhere to so women shouldn't be having casual partners because men don't want women with lots of lots of bodies so there are a lot of women that are like well i'm not going to have casual sex then so then these men are not having casual sex and blaming it on the women saying that oh well women are gatekeeping sex well why do you think they're gatekeeping sex because you're literally shaming them for ha having casual sex devon jackson donated 100 hey devon what's to up future single mother bangs you have a lot of your personality to work oh. on do you have a response to Mr. Davon Jackson? Girl, I'm tired. I'm not going to respond to you. <laughs> Girl, Davon. <laughs> yeah. Please. Um, you really wanted to come in, I think, on the it's the dating is easier for men or it's easier for men to get laid. or. I said the opposite. Yeah. No, 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 no. But you were arguing against for that. For sure. Yeah. Totally. Mm, go ahead. Sure. Argue. I mean, from every single level, it's way, way easier for women to get laid than men. I, an average-looking woman, a five out of ten, could walk into a club, pick up a guy, a five out of five true. guy, a five out of ten guy would it's have true. to try really, really hard. And here's the thing: when something comes easy, it is oftentimes there's less respect assigned to it. But whereas for guys, if they need to really work on that, hard work is rewarded. So just based on that simple premise alone, a woman who sleeps with a lot of guys that came easy, therefore it's not respected. A man who slept with a lot of women, generally he needs to work on his character, he needs to work on his hygiene, his appearance, his status, his accolades, his career, everything, in order to be at the same level as that five or six out of ten girl. What do you consider therefore, hard work? buying women drinks and talking to them no raising their caliber as a man so a high value man meaning like working on his physicality being fit and healthy working on his hygiene uh you know making a good a, a sum of money right, right, right um high value men do not call themselves high, high value, value men well okay. i didn't i didn't just say that, that wasn't the prerequisite of what i just I meant, said i was i know i'm just saying but, i'm just saying but you're stating general. that men have to work on all these things in order to get laid and that is completely false well often, as she was saying well, i mean unless you're a porn star with a huge dick right i'm talking what was she You're saying? Talking. Go ahead. Go ahead. So she was saying that she knows plenty of men that also have rosters. I know more men with very rosters few than men. I, I very know. Few I know men. way more men that have rosters than yeah. women that have okay, rosters. Okay, but but okay. Girl, I don't you, have a okay, but <laughs> the fact you could. <laughs> I know three men. If that you do. know, if you know a hundred men that have rosters, a hundred men out of the entire male population is a very very small proportion of men. If you had to attribute a percentage to the amount of men who could easily just have a roster of women. What percentile would you give it? Would you say 10% of men can do that? 20% of men can do that? Would you say 50% of men can do that? Would you say 100% of men can do that? I mean, obviously not 100. I think 100 is kind of ridiculous. But I mean, how many women you do you know 50, that have rosters? Would you say, it's, it's, they okay. could. That's, that's the, the thing. It's capability. Capability, sure. But I mean, I, Whether I, you, I think that probably as long as a man is actually putting in any sort of effort at all, they could you, probably get a roster. Have, are you serious? You think? Yeah, well, I how, genuinely how believe you, Girl, you're delusional. No, 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 no. Men yeah. need to work so hard. I, on I what planet? Girl, on what planet? Uh, if, um, you decent decent looking, if you are decent looking, if you are halfway decent, decent looking. Decent looking. I no, I, no, no, no. Decent looking? No, not even decent looking. I've met some ugly, ugly dudes that have been pulling. I've met some ugly dudes that have been pulling. Yeah, I mean, like, it's ball, it's all based oh on personality, God. right? Yeah. Like, women women still uh, have to have a semi-decent personality 99% of the time. You're wild. I would say that attraction does contribute to contribute to it though and uh, and it could be true that men do have to work harder in some circumstances especially it, if they're it could be it is true it is yeah that's what i meant it, like, is, true. it, it is true that they Simple have to work fact. harder i don't know I don't, yeah. if they, okay if hold on a couple questions really here a couple questions really here really. has a guy ever made you wait for sex yeah actually 
more well okay all right here's yeah generally 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 speaking who's making who wait for sex men I, mean, I think it depends I'm on the situation that goes it depends to what I said oh my god bro it, yeah, no, yeah that goes back to what i said earlier about women hold like we what's like the stupid lock and the gatekeeper oh my god yeah I hate women that analogy. were the gatekeeper of, that's what it's like true. the yeah Okay, also, how do you explain if, if, it, if it is the case that men have, just to just clarify your position, you think it's mm -hmm. about equal between men and women when it comes to the ease or simplicity with which they can secure uh, sex. You say it's about equal? Yeah, Equal. absolutely. Okay, so how do you explain the incel phenomenon, which is exclusive in men? I mean, there's fem cells. Yeah, it's there's like <laughs> it is literally impossible for a woman to be involuntarily celibate. I mean, it is impossible. Have you been on TikTok? Yeah, that's <laughs> not involuntary. What? Involuntarily celibate. There, so there like are an women. Incel. And, okay, so you, and she incels, could argue. Incels she don't could, go out and actually speak to women. I mean, like they sure literally they hate. They women. think they do, they think they're like they deserve sex. That's what yeah. they think. Not no. all incels. Yes, yes. 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 So what's it the is. true definition of an incel? Okay, incel is short for involuntarily celibate. So despite desiring, wanting to have sex, you are incapable of having sex. Now there are women who are voluntarily celibate. For example, like also. she's voluntarily celibate. If she was so inclined, and for, for religious reason, mm -hmm. if she was so inclined, she could get sex tonight. Right. I mean, but these men literally, if What's you're that? going and actually speaking no, to these men, oh, okay. they have like no actual interest in going out and talking to a woman. It's not necessarily true. A lot of people who are in cells uh, be become bitter i'd say from their interactions with women mm -hmm. because they did go out and they experienced something really shitty yeah okay but i mean okay. they're are the the, the, I, I, the yeah. villain let me so, so I, men just hold oh themselves accountable no no no, no, no. Here, here. i never said that women are the villain i think you just love to misconstrue my words i'm saying that women could be femme cells too you mentioned them too i think that experiences with the opposite gender do affect the way that you perceive them obviously and like you're an interactions i wouldn't say that incels and fem cells are entirely socially inept or entirely like devoid of social interaction in general i'd say that okay let me let me ask everyone a question here all the women at the table here a question let's say tomorrow you wake up let's assume some of you let's just say everyone's single here if you were so inclined do you think with 100 percent certainty if your mission for that day was i want to have sex i want to get laid do you think you'd be able to do it? Yeah. Yes. With 100% yes. with certainty. Yes. Yes. So that's the difference. <laughs> Only a woman can wake up in the morning and say, I'm going to get laid today with all certainty and have it come true. <laughs> Sometimes I say that and I, that doesn't happen to me. Yeah. <laughs> okay. You, if, as a woman, you download a dating app or you go out to a bar or you even just approach a guy with certainty, if you wanted it, you could get laid 100%. 100%. Whereas like most dudes, even though a good looking dude, it's not a given he's going to get laid if he like goes out to a bar or a club or he's on a dating app. I mean, Why dating app, that, I, I think dating app, like, it's hard, because it's harder for men to get laid. I think you absolutely could. I mean, I see women that are looking for hookups on dating apps all the time. Right. So but with perhaps with a certain tier of men. And also I like another thing I would add, there has to be some degree of planning. Like any of you, even though it's Sunday, it's fucking late as fuck, any of you could probably hop on Tinder right now, <laughs> tonight, and fuck a dude tonight. I don't care how attractive the dude is, there's like no, no chick, it's gonna be extremely difficult for a dude to hop on Tinder on a Sunday at fucking midnight. I don't care how hot he is and fuck a chick that night. There's gonna have to be some planning, it's not I mean, going to just go down ways, like that. Though. I mean, like, if I go on Tinder, I'm going to have to plan that with the guy. <laughs> yeah, but, but if, you're, if you were open to same night, like, if you were pushing for the same night, you could get it. Whereas it's not a you, like, guarantee you could probably get it. Whereas it's not a guarantee for men. Yeah, can I guy. say something? Real life experiences. I have two really close friends of mine who are guys, and they have the hardest time finding a woman even just to have sex Boom. one of them has been celibate Beautiful. for four years huh? and he's a decent he's a decent dude Aww. he's on the spectrum but he's like a really decent guy and he struggles even my other friend he's six foot four an attractive oh, dude oh, damn. has I'm an amazing job six, and he hasn't gotten laid in a year what? that's how you know Wait, can you you me, okay can, can you show me photos after the show just so i can see but you did mention he's not 
one of the guys is not neuro neurotypical. Yeah. That's another point I would add. If a guy is like uh, not neurotypical, they're also dis like a woman who's not neurotypical. She's even not going to have an issue getting laid. Whereas a dude who's maybe a little, you know, whatever, whatever. He's yeah, going to like, he's going to really I bagged a chag, bro. Sorry. See, take it from the horse's mouth. Like like literally like I'm rarded her. as fuck, bro. Like You're not rarded. No, You're no, actually no, no, very no, small. No, I have autism. Yeah. No, yeah, but it, it's oh. honestly hilarious. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. Really funny. Thank you. I have yeah, I I'm I'm, I'm rarded. But, Wait, uh, what about the bus? Tell us about the bus. The bu no, I'm not saying about Tell the us bus. about the bus. No. Tell us about no, the bus. No, I'm not talking about the bus. The, the fucking short bus, bro. The fucking short bus. They, they, they put me on that for like a hot minute, but then they realized I was like functioning. So like they said, nah, you can take the normal one. Oh, <laughs> <God>. <laughs> no. Oh, sorry. No, but seriously, like I've seen like like I made friends with this autistic guy like like over my Japan trip because it was study abroad and like I saw the way people like interact like like treated him like they're like oh my god this guy's fucking weird bro like and other people are like oh that's so endearing her autism like oh she's so <laughs> whatever like oh poor little thing poor little thing but they're like oh my god bro that fucking chick, bro he's fucking weird as shit bro like like hide your kids bro like Jake is fucking weird like I, there's like. It, it just, I don't know. Like, I definitely see the way the autistic men are treated. I'm like, oh, shit, that could have been It's me, rough bro. out there for, for look, m men with any sort of physical disability or disfigurement or detect detectable neurodivergence are rarely treated with any measure of interest. But that's not so for most women. Mm -hmm. Like, a woman, a woman in a wheelchair could... Could, oh my god, oh my is that god. inappropriate? Is that inappropriate? Could yeah. she could she could what's it called when the when you scoot in a wheelchair? Pedal? You oh, could could runs not run right. circles around men. Is that in did I, did I just cancel am I canceled? <laughs> they call that a uh, crippy with a grippy. What the <laughs> f bro, don't say that shit. Don't say that shit. Um No, but could wheel a, a woman in a wheelchair could wheel around a guy who's not in a wheelchair in terms of getting laid. Wheelchair chick, get some, get a, a new some new every night of the week. Can she feel I'm just it saying. Though? I'm just saying. Listen. Can, I'm can just she saying. feel it though if she's paralyzed from the waist down? She, no. She's got like. Let's just say she's like her. She's, you know. Oh, oh my god. god. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Canceled. Um, Canceled. Okay. Good times. Good times. Look. Okay, so you think it's easier for men? I didn't say easier. Okay, it, you think it's, it's equivalent? Equal. It's equivalent. When can I go home? Hundred percent equivalent. <laughs> right? Yeah, Brian? I mean, like. Hold on, hold on. We're almost done. Almost done. <laughs> my rides are getting. My ride is getting patient. Hold on. They <laughs> yeah, they're outside. They're waiting. <laughs> hold on. They, uh, yeah, I, know. I, do, I want to play Sekiro. <laughs> I know. I, I want to go home and play Sekiro. Have a nice pizza. Wait. Okay. I so, love Sekiro. So what's Shout up? What's up? I, w I mean, I would say fairly equivalent. I, you know, maybe after listening, I could, on but I think, I think part of the issue is that if it is a little bit more difficult for men to have sex with women is partially their own fault because of the standards that they perpetuate onto women. What? Yeah, because women are going to be less likely to want to have casual sex because they're know they're, they know they're going to be shamed for it later on. So, I mean, there are a lot of women that are very, their standards are so high because they're like, I have to add, every body I have to add has to count. You think that's, you think that's the only standard that women has? No, not at all. I didn't say that's the only standard that women have, but when we have these podcasts or there's these thousands of podcasts of men being like, oh, well, that body count's disgusting. Oh, that's disgusting. Mm -hmm. Women are going to be less inclined to open up and want to have casual sex unless the men man that they're talking to is like top tier like 100 percent their body's going to be worth adding to their account because they know they're going to get shamed for it later wait so i think women would be more inclined to have casual sex if men weren't so critical oh so you're arguing on our side now you're now you're saying no i'm oh, okay. saying i still here's believe it i said if it's slightly more difficult for them i would say that that would potentially be that's why. one well i mean couldn't it be the case that in general women are more picky and more selective and have higher standards I mean, not necessarily. I mean, there's, a again, evolutionary and biological reasons for this. I do feel like a lot of guys will sleep with anything. <laughs> yeah, so. I, yeah, I would agree yeah, with that. Men, yeah. men will sleep down, but, like, you, you could say, for example, they've done studies on this, or <laughs> mm -hmm. they've released the, the data from dating apps. Women swipe no on, like, the vast majority of men, and women will frequently rank, say, women find, like, 80 to 90% of men as unattractive. 
here we I mean we could go around the table what percentage of men do you find attractive on So true. I do not find <laughs> it takes me forever <laughs> to find an attractive guy like literally every two and a half But years. you just said you like guys who are kind of frumpy or whatever. Yeah, but like to <laughs> find to one to find one where I'm just like, "Oh my gosh, like to, for me to really like someone." You want okay? to find a frumpy, hot, ugly guy? I think yeah, I love ugly. That makes sense. Dreaded. Yes, Probably. ugly hot dudes are a thing. Oh, hot like, ugly like, dudes GTA. are a thing. Well, it's like the medium <laughs> ugly standard that women talk about all the time they're like oh i love medium ugly guys yeah that's pretty good like that's a thing that women are like i love a medium ugly guy i also i don't physical looks have never been that big of a proponent to me personally i'm did a guy shorter than you i have dated men shorter than me yeah is that your preference is that ideal then um no it's definitely not my preference but i like i said earlier looks have never been a really high proponent to me i find people a lot more attractive when i get to know them most people that I find like physically attractive off rip, um, I gen- generally end up not liking. Like, <laughs> people become more attractive to me as I get to know them and like okay. get to know that they get to know their good qualities. Okay. All right. Well, we have Alvarez here. Alpha men don't call themselves alpha men. Yet fifty percent of men call themselves alpha men. And I what? guess fifty percent of men aren't alpha men. <laughs> I don't know if, have they done a study on the frequency with which men call themselves alphas? I've never, (laughs) I've never heard of that. Um, I just, I don't know if I'm going to be able to like, this idea that it's equivalent, equivalent, it just boggles my mind that, that I. You know what will make you feel better? Food. (laughs) That is deep. I'm, I'm rather tired okay. too. I, I wish I could argue about this all night. Let's wrap it up. We'll do this part two. Like, I feel like yeah, we could do. We can definitely. A we can definitely do. <laughs> oh a, yeah! Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, we should do a mukbang. Microsoft came up. We have the microphone for it. Yeah. PlayStation. Here, last last little train of conversation here. Zip it. Zip it good. Okay. 